I think Shapeshifter was the first song that I actually wrote for the whole album. I wrote it in 2019. I was on the road and like traveling a bunch and I had been wanting to work with Salam, uh, who's like a genius for so long because he's done all of Amy Winehouse's stuff and like I'm the biggest Amy Winehouse fan in the world. So I've been meaning to work with him for a while. I met him in a parking lot a couple years prior and was like, I need to work with you. And so we exchanged numbers back then and then it wasn't until 2019 where I uh, happened to be in Miami. I went into his studio, which is also his house, where Amy Winehouse wrote both of her albums, which was like such a huge full circle moment for me. It was like the craziest thing. And I remember like I didn't really like it. Like when I first wrote it, I was like, oh, I can do better. I don't know how I feel about this. I was like really, really sick that day. I had, I think like strep throat or something crazy and uh, I just wasn't feeling it but I didn't want to like ruin my chances with Salam because like, he's like such a huge idol of mine like I had, I had like this whole disclaimer for him like listen today is not a testament of my you know of how much I can write or anything I just feel like I'm not you know feeling that well if I if I suck today I'm sorry um, and he's like no like you know let's let's just start with like the basics like you know what's your what's your background like where's your family from and I started talking about Italy and being Italian He's like, oh, cool. And he had a guitar in his hand while we were talking. As he was like asking more questions, he was like playing this lick on guitar. Like as we were talking, he was like writing at the same time, which is crazy. He's just like a genius. And he was playing the, what is now the lick, the little boom, 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 in Shapeshifter. And I was like, what is that that you're doing? He's like, you know, I'm inspired by, you know, you being Italian and I wanted to like do something that sounds like the Godfather. This is so cool. And then so from that I started thinking of like, okay, Godfather, Italian, like what can I what can I write about here? And uh, I just like pictured like this like old Italian film and like this like, you know, love triangle and this love affair and this like mansion or something. I just like really just envisioned this whole world that like didn't exist from this one little guitar riff and that's how it kinda came to be. And I like sprinkled in a lot of what I was feeling personally into these characters that didn't exist to this fake storyline because I was kind of, you know, a little bit bummed about a situation that I was going through and my feelings were kind of hurt that day. So I was like, I'm gonna put these two worlds into one and create this like fantasy story and then that's how it started. I was on the road, had forgotten about it and I, I did this session just me and Salam, so nobody from my team was there. My best friend who was traveling with me wasn't there. And then I was sitting in my dressing room one day, and she was like, what did you ever end up doing with Salam? And I was like, oh, like this song, I feel like it's not that great. I don't know if I did it justice. And then I um, played it for her on my phone, and she like freaked out and like called my, my dad and my tour manager, and she's like, you guys have to hear this. And I was like, okay, and I played it for them, and they all like freaked out. And if, if it weren't for them, I would have just like probably scrapped it or forgotten about it, but I think their reaction to it really made me realize that it could have been something cool. So then that's when I went in later to finish it. 